welcome to an extra special edition of the Red Arrow Health and Wellness Podcast. I'm your host, Marco, with my lovely baby mama of a co-host. Jessica. Caught you off guard this week. A little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> hey, it's Father's Day. Yay! So happy Father's Day to all the dads happy out there. Happy Father's Day. So this is going to be a little bit different episode. It's probably going to be our shortest episode ever because so. we had something planned. And then the weather's been beautiful, uh, and I just wanted to spend the weekend with the kids instead of recording and editing a podcast. So we did some fishing. We've done all sorts of stuff. We're going to have some fun. But then it's like, well, do we really want to take the full week off? We have things to discuss. We have things we want to put and share. So we're going to do a mini episode. Mini. Mini. Just like all those little tiny things that are running around upstairs. They're mini versions of you. And you. But mostly you. (laughs) Jessica. Marco. This is very important to this episode. Yes. What are you drinking tonight? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I have nothing right now. What are we going to be drinking? We are going to drink some whiskey. <laughs> and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be shocking. And why is it going to be amazing? Oh, because we're going to smoke it. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, it's Father's Day, so we got some whiskey. And, you know, what's common on Father's Day to go out and smoke some meat? Well, we're going to smoke the whiskey. Yes, we are. We're going to infuse different wood smoke into it. Actually, we're only going to do one. Uh, You and the kids surprised me with a set for infusing smoke into your whiskeys. So we're going to try this out. Yeah, I'm so excited. We had to go get butane just so we could do it. It's going to be great. All right. So I'm breaking out uh, two of our little rocks glasses. And we're not sponsored in any way by this. This is a gift that you went out. You spent money on. You and the kids surprised me with it. We're just having fun with it, and this is, uh, what is this thing called? I was thinking about things to get you for Father's Day, and I was having a really, really hard time because you have kind of everything that you need, and we've done the cute glasses, and I've gotten you bottles of whiskey from your favorite places before. Speaking of cute glasses, I broke out our city map glasses, rocks glasses, so do you, are you going to want San Francisco or Tallahassee? Uh, I will take San Francisco. Okay. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so we've, we've done all of that and I was thinking about what else to get you. And I came across this really fun thing. Um, it was called a rocks Loch Ness monster ice cube thing, but you didn't seem too interested in that when I sent it to you. So I was like, okay, I need to think better. And then I remembered that sometimes we'll go to a bar and you will get your drink smoked. It's a brewery. Bar, brewery, whatever. It has amazing food. It has alcohol. So... And they have a bar. They do have spirits now, too. Okay. We'll go and you'll get your drink smoked. And you've always really liked that. And I was like, I wonder if we can do this at home. So I tried Googling and Google wasn't very helpful. So then I got on Etsy and I was like, whiskey smoking. I think that's exactly what I typed in into the search. And a whole bunch of different things came up. And there's all kinds of different kits you can get. But this one. You know what's funny about this? No. I have it saved in my Insta- my personal Instagram account. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> like it showed up as a suggested ad once upon a time, and I'm like, that's cool. Oh, that's great. I didn't know that. Okay, so um, this one is from the Crafty Cocktail, and it's the Cocktail Smoker Top Gift Pack. And it comes with a wooden, um, I don't know what that's called, actually, a wooden... A little cover disc. Okay, and it has a little space where you can put the wood chips on top with a little filter so that the smoke will go down into the bottom, but the wood chips will not. And then it's got, it came with three different types of flavored wood chips, and then it has a little torch. So we're going to set things on fire. It's going to be awesome. Sure, nothing can go wrong. Nothing will go wrong. I do have water ready to go in case this gets a little out of hand. No, but yeah, that's good. Um, Anyways, it came beautifully packaged. I was really, really happy with it. The only thing that took me by surprise was that there was not actually butane in the box. So I had to go to the store I'm and get that. I'm not too shocked by that. I, you're not supposed to ship butane I know that you're not. Mail. So it's not a big surprise. It's just not something that I was prepared to have to go and get because I figured it would all be inclusive in the box. But really, it's not a big deal. It, they have it at Walgreens, so it's fine. Just go and get some and then we can, now we can have all the fun. Okay. So while you're doing that, and depending on how well the mics picked everything up, I, I went and poured some whiskey into the two rocks glasses. Uh, nothing special. We didn't, because when we discussed before, we, we knew we wanted to test out the flavoring on this. And so we didn't want, um, we wanted kind of a neutral bourbon really to infuse. So we just went and grabbed a bottle of Maker's Mark. Yep. Because it doesn't really taste like anything. Sorry, <laughs> Maker's Mark. 
And so but we love you. But we'll see how it's going. And then out of the three little wood chip uh, packets that came, we're going to try the barrel aged. Ooh. All right. So what are the instructions for this? Because I can either go over across the room and look at the box or you took a photo earlier. Oh, I did. I totally did. But I was taking pictures of you now. So okay. the whiskey's in. I didn't put the ice in yet because this takes a little while. Why let the ice melt? Oh, the wooden thing is called a smokestack. There we go. Okay. So you're going to put the smokestack on top of the glass with am the bulbous I, end on top. Yours first or mine it, first? Let's do yours first. Okay. It's on top. All right. Place a small pinch of wood powder in stack. It's not really powder. They're just like little, it's little shavings. Chips. Yeah. Okay. Not too much. Not too much. Just a pinch. All right. They're in. Let me screw this shut. Okay. Are you ready? I believe so. Okay. Burn smoking chamber. For how long? For um, 15 to 30 seconds. Okay. You time this while I do it. Um, Yikes. I'm going to take a picture. All right. But well, I'll can... count in my head, okay? Okay. I have this torch turned down to low flame. Mm-hmm. So we don't have a flamethrower going across the room. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to slide away from the mic for a moment. Solid plan. You're going to have to narrate because I'm way over here. Okay. Ready? Sitting on fire. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh fire. Flame. Smoke's going down. How long have I been doing this? 17 seconds. How long am I doing it for? 15 to 30. It's probably good. Okay. And now we're going to let it sit for, I think, 30 to 60 seconds. You know what? I'm going to put yeah. the container okay. over the hole. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Ooh, let me see your Hang camera. On. Hold on. So what we're seeing right now is even though okay. you, you expect the smoke to rise, it went down into the glass, filled it up, and it's like a cloud sitting on top of the whiskey. It's fun. And so we got the cap on, and we're just letting it infuse in there. That is fun. And meanwhile, the uh, <laughs> the room we're in right now is starting to smell like barrel age. Carefully, you don't turn the dials reaching across the uh, control board. I really like photos. I know you do. These will be fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. How long has it been? I, I don't know. I can't. That's a long time to count in my head while I'm also no. taking pictures. I mean, I don't know, maybe 15 more seconds. Okay. And then when and you I will it probably off, bring it over here. I will probably splice this up a little bit so people don't have to listen the whole time while we're waiting for it to infuse. I hope so. So that's if they're going, boring. wait a minute, this didn't take that long. Well, one, no, it's not taking long at all, but oh, it's going to take even less time. The smoke is starting to dissipate. Yeah. In there. Well, then I'll put in a cube and yeah. actually I'm going to do it first without a cube. Okay, but wait, bring it over here to lift it so I can actually take a picture of you. Hold in. I need my camera. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. The suspense. Ready? Yep. Is Helps it hot? It. No, but I just dumped out some ash. Good job. That's good. All right. I just put in some ice. Mm-hmm. This is yummy. This is really yummy. Good. Like, I won't normally sit and just drink Maker's Mark on the rocks. We use it for mixing things. Yeah. But this is yummy. So here, I'm going to do yours now. I just put a pinch in. Hooray! Thank you for letting me go first. You're welcome. Wait, I got to slide away from the uh, control panel. So tell me how long this goes. Okay. Ooh. Smoke's going in. It's so cool. What way it just cascades down. All right, that's probably good. That's about 15 seconds. Yeah, I think it has. Good. Okay. I'm going to wait for the, yep, wait for the flames to go away before I put this plastic piece on it. Now I'm going to just kind of cover it with the uh, wood chip container. It's so cool. And it's smoking up, smoking up, smoking up. Awesome. All right. Well, that's going. Mm -hmm. And again, it came with, the kit came with two more types of wood chips, so we can play with that. We can do a tasting flight or something. We can have some fun. But Jessica. Marco. On this mini episode. Yeah. Uh, there was one other thing we wanted to share. Of course, we're going to also get to the Red Arrow Challenge, too, because we didn't want to miss out on that. Mm -hmm. But, Jess, what are you holding over there? My phone. <laughs> Besides your phone, <laughs> photog. I have a canvas that we made for you several years ago. Not too many, because there's four little images on it's there. It's from 2017, though. Okay. 
So it's been it's been a little minute. That was like last year. <laughs> sure. Remember, in 1990 was like 20 years ago. No, be quiet. 2000 was 10 years ago. <laughs> 2017 was a year ago. Sure. Okay. Time travel changes weird when you're old. Yeah. All right. So we made, I was again, kid number four was like, I don't know, what, six months old. There you go. And it was Father's Day and I was scrambling for a gift because we were exhausted. We had four little monkeys. It was hard to like go to the <laughs> store. Um, Just survived another track it season. It did not occur to me soon enough to order you something online. And that left us with a homemade Father's Day gift. I like the homemade Father's Day gifts. Although I, I do like do. this too. Some I assembly required at home or disassembly. Yeah. Since we're so. Anyways, anyway. I I was like, okay, what can I do? What can I do? Pinterest to the rescue! <laughs> so I got on Pinterest and I typed in fa- handmade Father's Day gifts, and this is one of the this ideas. This one's literally handmade and foot made. It is. It it popped up, and I was like, done. We have all of those materials in the craft basement. We can put this together. Um, and it's basically a, a hand and footprint uh, canvas where we, we turn the hand and footprints into superheroes. Um, so kid number one. Well, the whole thing, it says, Daddy, you are as strong as Hulk, as smart as Iron Man, as fast as Superman, and as brave as Batman. You are my favorite superhero. And then each kid was assigned a superhero. Um, so I think kid number one is a, uh, is the Hulk. And it's really, really cute. Um, kid so number, describe the Hulk, though. Okay, it's so the the palm of the hand is green, and then a couple of the fingers are purple, and one the pinky finger is green. I'm not really sure. It looks like the thumb is green as well. Yeah, the other what's three happening are purple. there? And then the, she put on the base of the palm. There's hair, and then she drew a cute little face on there. I think kid number two is Superman, and to make Superman, we painted the majority of his foot and his toes blue. Um, and then the heel of his foot was painted peach. And then we added on a cape and a little Superman S and some hair. And he got to paint on his face, too. I really like his nose. I like his eyebrows. He's mm-hmm. very determined. Yep. Kid number three made Batman with his handprint. Um, we painted his hand black. And then we basically drew a bat outline around it. Um, and we drew a little Batman symbol right in the middle of where his fingers are on it. And then he added his face. He's got white, just plain white eyeballs. Mm-hmm, because that's how and Batman then, looks in the Lego man form. And just from like the tip of the nose down to the chin, there's a big peach circle. And then he's got like a little smirk and a little dot for a nose. Mm-hmm. And then kid number four, um, we used her footprint to make Iron Man. And so we painted her, the vast majority of her foot red. And then one tiny little yellow streak on, her uh, heel. on the on in like the middle of her heel was yellow. And then I added in the um, pattern for the Iron Man suit after we stamped her foot on the canvas. So they all had fun making it. Everybody got to do their face themselves, except for kid number four, because again, six months old. Um, she thought it was hilarious, though, because the paint was cold and squishy in her little baby toes <laughs> and is is very sweet. But you have this sweet little memento of how big. Their feet and their hands were in 2017. And, and you like superheroes. superheroes. I love superheroes. So, yeah, you've had this on your wall down here since 2017. Yep. And I plan on putting it back on the wall when we're done. Super. My whiskey ready No yet? pun intended? No, no pun intended. I'm your whiskey even is ready. Woo. to uh, pick up on it's my It's got puns. some Harry Potter vibes to it, too. Yes. Cheers. Ooh. Cheers. Yours is a little bit more potent. We left it on it there is. a little bit longer. You like that? I do like that. Would you like an ice cube? I would like several. Okay. I don't. <laughs> I don't do the whiskey neat. I do sometimes. <laughs> well, I've got a full evening ahead of hockey. Yep. And kid one is playing bad again, and I if they're short on players, I'm going to skate out so I can go shoot some pucks at my kid. Awesome. Because what sounds <laughs> more like Father's Day than reminding her that dad can still like put the puck in the back of the net even though she's standing in front uh and then she's gonna hang out and i've got a game and then we're gonna come home but i'll get this edited and get this up and you know what it was fun though just to sit down and do this and this was fun we will go back my favorite episode ever (laughs) the episode we had planned for uh, for this week we'll just do next week we'll slide everything over one it'll be fine Mm -hmm. all right well cheers cheers thanks for the cute kids happy father's day thank you Thanks for not hitting it and quitting it. (laughs) (laughs) How long have you been dying to use that one on this episode? Since we sat down in these chairs.
Oh my! All right, before we go, let's uh, let's give a shout out to the Red Arrow Challenge champions. Okay. The Red Arrow Challenge is our weekly multi-sport challenge, virtual challenge, free to do. Just go to our uh, our link tree, but actually, just go to our Instagram. Red Arrow HW is the handle. Link in the bio. You can set up a username for free, track your distances, put your totals in each week, and we give a shout out to the champions in each category by age group every week. And for the most recent week, swimming. 20 to 29, Gator Boy. 40 to 49, Jesse's Girl. 60 to 69, Kilogram Ill. Running. 9 and under, Easy E. 10 to 19, Lucky Dude. 20 to 29, Gator Boy. 30 to 39, The Logan. 40 to 49, Sarah 906. 50 to 59, Johnny B. Good. 60 to 69, Pac Mac. Featured members, me. Walking. 9 and under, Easy E. 10 to 19, Soleil. 20 to 29, Smytha. 30 to 39, Wildcat, 40 to 49, Vino Mia, 50 to 59, Teddy, 68, 60 to 69, Sunny D, featured members, me. Biking on road. 20 to 29, H. Kaner, 305, 30 to 39, Cyclopath, 40 to 49, Coach T, 50 to 59, A.R. Miller, 60 to 69, Kilogram Mill, featured members, me. Biking off road. 20 to 29, Husky Mike, 30 to 39, Dirt Devil, 40 to 49, Cyclone. Sit down paddling. 20 to 29, H. Kaner 305, 30 to 39, Rando 7. Stand up paddling. 20 to 29, Gator Boy, 30 to 39, Me West, 40 to 49, Coffee Dude, 50 to 59, Mary Mary, 60 to 69, Sunny D. Cross country skiing. 50 to 59, Big Juan, 64. Skating. 20 to 29, Lexi, 30 to 39, SB Nikki, 40 to 49, Great Juan, 50 to 59, Herb, 60 to 69, MRH, 313. Featured members, me. Hockey. 20 to 29, Sid, 30 to 39, Wildcat, 40 to 49, Coach T, 50 to 59, Herb, 60 to 69, MRH, 313, featured members, me. Points. Nine and under, Easy E, 10 to 19, Lucky Dude, 20 to 29, Husky, Mike, 30 to 39, The Logan, 40 to 49, Coach T, 50 to 59, Johnny B. Good, 60 to 69, Kilogram Mill, featured members, me. All right. Well, that was a super short episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. We wanted to get put out something this week. <laughs> Next week, it will be longer. Yes. That's all right. A short one once in a while, not too bad. It makes up for those ones that are like two and almost three hours long. One more time. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you for the happy Father's Day. Thank you for the shorties. You're welcome. This has been another episode of the Red Arrow Health and Wellness Podcast. We drop episodes every Monday. This is episode 67. Ooh. Ooh. Interested in listening more? Check back. We've got plenty to listen to. <laughs> but until next time, Jessica, it's been fun. Loads of fun. Bye. Bye.